Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you're um, dealing with a good friendship at this particular moment. So there might be somebody that you have just met that you formed a really, really good friendship with. Uh, and, you know, it's calling on you to take a chance. So somebody that you've come, that's coming to your arena, it might be something very platonic, but something that you can rely on, somebody that is very, very, um, you know, makes you very, very happy. You can have a lot of, uh, uh, you know, talk uh, about everything, get things off your chest with this particular person. Uh, and you do need to, you know, take that chance with this particular person. So it could be, uh, you know... Um, a romantic relationship and and that started off as a good friendship uh, but it also says that you know you do need to uh, let go take a chance uh, you know go for it really so you may have been coming out of a very codependent relationship as well so there's something that you were uh, involved in or uh, maybe even the relationship that you are in is still pretty codependent right now this whoever you are involved with seems to have some kind of uh, hold over you and you know um, maybe you you're relying on them quite a bit uh, for your emotional fulfillment or happiness right now so whoever you're dealing with um, you know seems to be pretty possessive um, you're very defensive as well about what you're doing so maybe they're questioning everything that you're doing and um, you know they're making you feel uh, as though whatever you're doing is wrong uh, and this is because they're being very possessive now, it could be you that's being very possessive as well over this relationship but since you're very co codependent it might be that the person that you are with is the one that is being very possessive and that's putting you on the defensive as well you're having to watch everything you do or that's happened in the past really now you've got that new friendship coming in over there so this is a time uh, you know that it, it could be something that you're a bit reluctant to get involved in uh, because you know there's that element of possessiveness that is going through that relationship now you are dealing with a lot of lies and deception so maybe the person that you are involved in has been saying or you know there's there's that element of of them doing things and not really coming clean with what they're doing so just be aware that that could be the case maybe things going on around you that you're not really quite sure maybe they're doing things behind your back uh that you're not aware of so there is that element of lies and deception you yourself are a bit afraid to do things there's the fear to act card over there uh so because there's that element of codependency going on over there maybe you're scared of actually losing uh, that particular relationship uh, you know you should never be in a relationship uh, where somebody has got that kind of a hold over you where you're scared to even make a move on even you know starting a new friendship there uh, because you're afraid that because they're being possessive or they're you know uh, or jealous in that case um, that they're um, you know something uh, will go wrong so you know you need to come clean you need to re-evaluate uh, why you're in this particular relationship um, and you know if there's lies and deception going on over here you know this could be you trying to uh, not to, to form good you know new friendships and not let the other party know that you're even involved with a new friendship so if this could be lies and deception on your part where you're uh, you know you don't want to let them know because you don't want to upset things you don't want to rock the boat really and you are scared to do things because you know you're worried what will happen uh, because there's so much of possessiveness going on over there and there's that element of codependency going on over there uh, which is not a very very good way to be in a relationship so it's it's almost a toxic energy really being con codependent on somebody um, so there's this new friendship that will be coming in for you it's pretty good friendship over here and it might be good to get things off your chest maybe this particular particular person uh, will be able to give you some advice uh, maybe allow you to see things from a different point of view and reevaluate uh, why you're in this particular relationship so those are the energies that are coming in for that those two weeks so I'm going to draw some cards from the uh, after tarot
Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Ace of Pentacles. Now, this is generally, you know, this could be um, a new relationship that comes in for you. And it might be somebody that you meet, um, you know, on the work front. Uh, somebody that, uh, you know, um, is very financially secure uh, as well. So this is generally, uh, you know, the beginning of something brand new. And, uh, you know, they're going to bring in a lot of... Um, happiness, luck, maybe your luck changes with that um, scallop beetle coming in over there. Your fortune is changing rather. Your path is opening up over here and this new relationship is presenting itself. So <coughs> it seems like you might be meeting somebody from on the work front. You are very focused on work and it looks like uh, you know this new relationship might be coming uh, through for you from that particular avenue. Now you have been, you know, the card below it, I'm just looking at that, the card below it has been the Five of Pentacles, so you did leave behind a relationship, there was a lot of loss that came with it, you felt very unsupported as well, so this new relationship that comes in, that brings in that stability for you, and, uh, you know, that financial security as well, uh, finance is very, very important to Capricorn, they, uh, you know, um, or Earth Science for that matter, uh, material stability is very important, and this particular person seems to make you that offer of material stability. Now you've got the Page of Pentacles, and this again uh, is another offer card coming in over here. So uh, it looks like whoever this person is, you know, they're a pretty hard-working person. Uh, they're going to be making you this offer, maybe sending you te text messages or some kind of communication coming in from this particular person. And it seems to be like, you know, a very, very good offer, a very good offer of stability. And it is somebody that you are working with. They might be older than you as well. Uh, and maybe you've been working with them for a long time. So this offer is coming in for you on the work front. You've got the Hermit card over here. Now, you know, this is a card talking about, uh, you know, maybe watching your back as well. Uh, so, you know, there are toxic elements around you. Um, and, you know, you need to... Um, you've been probably spending a lot of time by yourself. And maybe this is why this offer has come in. Uh, you've been very, very work-focused as well. But you also do need to watch your back because there's that element of deception or that element of uh, toxicity uh, with the people around you. Now, it looks like you're, you are uncovering all the snakes uh, in the grass there. So, you know, anybody who's uh, gossiping behind your back, uh, you know, you are confronting them almost. Um, and, um, you know, a lot of light is being shed in that particular situation. So a lot of truth is coming to light. And maybe those people that are gossiping and talking about you, uh, you know, they are being revealed as well. So you are uncovering the truth as well. It also looks like, uh, you know, because of that, this new offer coming in. Uh, maybe this relationship, if it's, a, uh, if it's a, a relationship that is going on on the work front, maybe a lot of tongues are wagging over there. Maybe a lot of people saying a lot of nasty things as well. But all of that coming to light, and you are going to be somebody that takes control of that situation and, you know, confronting those people as well. And in the past, you've got the temperance card over here. So you are getting rid of all those... Um, negative emotions that you did feel or did go through you are healing with this temperance card so whatever problems or issues that you had on that uh, you know after your relationship ended it looks like you're getting back your footing again you're uh, you can see they're stepping out of the water and onto the ground so you're getting your stability back uh, you're grounding yourself again so what all those problems you're getting rid of it healing with this maybe you're doing a lot of praying as well and c contacting your higher self cont contacting the divine and you're also being led you're being guided uh, towards you know your path uh, so you are on you know as far as your emotional life goes you are being shown the way and you are um, you know going through a period of healing or you have been going through a period of healing rather um, you've got the Seven of Cups over here, so it looks like there's been a lot of options available for you. And, you know, maybe not the best of options as well. Still dealing with a lot of toxicity. You've got that snake, uh, you know, sort of venomous uh, people as well around you. Uh, but there's been a lot of options available for you. Maybe there has been some offers that have come in, but these are not offers that you really are interested in. You see this man's got his back turned away from it. So you're looking for something else. It seems like the focus seems to be on your work or your finances at the moment and any kind of emotional offers that have come in so there's got you've got castles here and you know uh, um, victory there that particular card and you know new people but it looks like you are not really interested in any kind of emotional offer at the moment you are focusing on your work and maybe because you're still you might still have ties with this person that you were dealing with in the past they might still have some kind of hold over you 
They might be manipulating you from a bit of a distance over there, uh, the, you know, your previous relationship. Uh, it seems like you've, you've turned your back on any kind of offers over there and, uh, you know, you're focusing on your work or your coin at the moment. So going, um, what's in your mind? You've got the Ace of Wands. So you do want a new relationship to come in. You know, maybe there's somebody that you are sexually um, attracted to here. The Ace of Wands. It's oh, the Ace of Wands. It's about sexual attraction over there. And you know, you, it looks like you may be thinking uh, of somebody on that uh, term. It might be a fire sign person too. So it could be Aries Leo Sagittarius energy that you're very, very much attracted to. And it's somebody on the work front. And it's maybe somebody that you're doing some kind of work project with. Or even doing some kind of, uh, you know, travel with this particular person, some kind of business travel. But you're hoping uh, to have some kind of relationship. You're very, very attracted to this particular person. Now, you've got the Four of Cups over here. In this particular deck, usually the Four of Cups is about an offer being made and, you know, you're not really looking forward to it. But it looks like uh, an offer may be made and you might actually even reject it. Uh, this person's emptying that cup out. Uh, maybe it's not ticking any of the boxes that you wanted. So maybe uh, maybe offers have been made to you and you have rejected it. But, uh, you know, maybe this offer will be made to you and maybe it's not something that you really want because you're actually thinking maybe this person is not emotionally fulfilling you. So there's something, some kind of offer that may come your way um, and you might actually end up rejecting it uh, because it's not emotionally fulfilling for you. Now, you've got the chariot card over here, so you are taking control of that situation. You might be thinking of buying a new home. You might be thinking of relocating, uh, moving on, really. So the chariot card is, you know, ruled by cancer. And you might be thinking of buying a new home uh, and moving on. Uh, the chariot card is also, you know, whatever you set your mind to as far as your work goes, uh, there's going to be a lot of victory there for you. Uh, you just have to rope in all the elements that are not working out. Uh, you know, get everything, get your ducks in a row, really, uh, and make sure you're taking control of that situation. Now, with the chariot card, also, it's about you taking control in order for you to get victory. So you might be the person that needs to make the first move in this particular scenario. So if you want a relationship, if you're thinking of somebody uh, starting a new relationship with somebody with Ace of Rods, you might be the first need to be the first person that actually makes that move uh, or makes the first move forward. There's brand new beginnings coming in over there. So you, it looks like you want to take a chance with something and uh, you're going to take that risk and go for it with a fool. So whatever you've ended, uh, it looks like, uh, you know, this is a brand new beginning of a relationship. So maybe this is, uh, you know, maybe this is a previous offer that you have rejected with this uh, Four of Cups over here. This could be a current offer that you are rejecting at the moment, but you said you want to make a brand new start and take a risk on something. You are working very hard to manifest a relationship, though, with the uh, magician card over here. Things are still very, very much up in the air, as you can see. So you haven't really decided what you want to do. So it seems like you have all these options. Maybe there's a choice that you have to make, and things are still very, very much up in the air. You really don't know what to do. Maybe there hasn't been really very much communication between you and this person, and you're working on that particular aspect. But you're definitely working hard to try and get this relationship going trying to attract somebody. So going into the future, you've got the Three of Rods over there, the Seven of um, Swords, and the Empress card over here. So a lot of communication coming in. So it looks like you're leaving behind an old relationship here, and you're moving forward, or even two old relationships, and moving forward. Now this particular person may, may be a fire sign person, so this might be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, because this is the Rods card. You might be doing some traveling with this person. Um, there also might be, or even working on a project with this person. It might be some kind of business trip that you take with this particular person. Um, there also is a lot of communication going on. Now, this person might also be foreign as well, because the third, uh, Three of Rods is about foreign um, uh, energies that you're working with, people that you're not familiar with. So this pat particular person may not be coming from where you come from, really. Uh, so you might have a lot of communication with them, but there seems to be um, you know, some kind of travel. You might be traveling to see them, or they might be traveling to see you. Um, so there's, uh, you know, there's a lot of movement. You might even be introduced to these people, uh, to this person, the particular person, uh, you know, by, f by people that you work with as well. Um, you've got the seven of uh, swords over here. So if you were dealing with people uh, that caused, you know, who lied and, uh, you know, or deceived you in the past, it looks like they're about to get theirs. Uh, you've got that, you know, the noose around 
uh, the foot over there. So whatever uh, uh, situation you went with uh, that was not just or injustice was served there, it looks like that person is about to get a healthy dose of karmic justice coming their way. So whatever they thought they got away with, they did not. Uh, it looks like they're about to get theirs. And you're going to end up, you know, coming uh, on top. There's, uh, you know, there's this woman holding that uh, light bulb moment. So aha moments coming in for you there. But it looks like, you know, uh, a lot of abundance coming in. There's a lot of satisfaction coming in. Uh, this might also be, you know, you getting uh, all the rewards uh, that you want. So this is a card of luxury, sitting back and enjoying it, being comfortable, uh, you know, being uh, at peace with yourself and having manifested everything that you need. And the Empress is about love. So whatever you've been manifesting on the love front, it looks like it is going to be coming your way, um, you know, very soon because you've got that Empress coming in and it is the card ruled by Venus. So this new relationship uh, that you, um, you're you trying to manifest, it looks like it might come into your arena. It might be somebody foreign. You might be introduced to this person. You might have even uh, met them through some kind of project, business project. Uh, you might be even having uh, doing some business travel, uh, you know, where they're involved in that particular scenario and it looks like you're going to be able to manifest love and satisfaction as well from it it looks like you know you're not accepting offers willy-nilly you're being very discerning about the offers that you are accepting this particular offer that comes in might be somebody that is very uh, financially stable there's a lot of security involved with this particular person and just watch your back for people still talking behind your back uh, you know but it looks like you know you, uh, you're catching them out so it looks like whoever's you know, saying things, they're getting their karmic justice, um, and the truth is going to be revealed. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Archangel Power Tarot. You've got the star card over here, so dream come true, believe in yourself, the end of a difficult situation. And you can see here, too, she's throwing out all that uh, water, those negative emotions, all that negativity or toxicity that is not serving her is getting dumped. And, uh, you know, there's new hope for her. So a new enlightenment. You can see uh, her, uh, you know, aura is lit up around her head. So new insights coming in, but also divine guidance coming in there for you. You've got the uh, Eight of Ariel over here. So take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional uh, education or training. Now, uh, with the Eight of Ariel in a love uh, reading, it shows about, you know, you need to do some work. Maybe some research on uh, the person that you're uh, getting involved with. Uh, find out about their background before you actually take the plunge um, of getting into a relationship. So there's something that you need to find out about them, some information that you need to know before you get involved with them. Then you've got the Wheel of Fortune over there, which says new beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. So things are about to change for the better for you. You've got the Fool card over here and the Wheel of Fortune. So definitely new beginnings, end of delays, and um, happiness coming in for you. So take that chance, take that risk, go for it. Uh, because there's, you know, positive change coming in over there and a positive outcome uh, from that wheel of fortune. So um, uh, I hope all this has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.